third in a trilogy. The first fight ended in a draw. The second fight, it was Joshua Franco that won a split decision, but controversial as it was. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger, wearing war-ready camouflage trunks. He officially weighed in at 117.6 pounds. In 21 professional bouts, his resume is outstanding. 18 victories with seven big wins by way of knockout against two defeats and one draw. A fierce warrior, hungry and ready to battle for yet again another championship. Fighting out of Paramount, California, he's also the fighting pride of Tierra Alta, Colombia. Oscar El Jawar Negrete. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gold and black, he officially tipped the skulls at 117.6 pounds. In 70 professional contest, his record is impressive. 15 victories, with seven wins by way of knockout, only one defeat and one draw. He is fighting here at the Lone Star State and representing the Alamo City, San Antonio, Texas. He is the reigning, defending NAPF WBA International Pantaway Champion, Joshua El Profesor. This is the bell to start the first of 10 rounds, or the, actually, we've had 20 rounds of boxing between these guys. This is the uh, trilogy, and this is the third fight, and both guys realize one thing, they've got to try to pick up their power shots. They had a lot of power shots in the last fight, and there should be a lot of power shots in this fight. Both fights very close, the first one a draw, the second one a split decision, but a wide, Strange split decision. Two judges had it fairly close, and the other judge had it way in favor uh, of uh, uh, Nagrete. That was strange. Okay, so here we go. The professor, Franco, decked out in the golden black. Nagrete. Nagrete in the camouflage takes a couple of light shots by Franco. Franco backs off, is pounded behind the head twice by Nagrete. That split decision last time, so Negrete had said, I'm going to pick up some power shots, but there's not much between them here, although it appears in the early going that Negrete is at least throwing more punches. Hard to read and hard to score this round. Time by Negrete, I think he's landing more here in the first round with about 20 seconds to go in round number one in this scheduled 10 round affair. A lot of rounds very similar to this in the first 20 rounds that they fought each other. This is round 21. I'm going to give a slight edge in this first round to Nagrete at this time. On the other hand, uh, if you could hear Joshua Franco getting the instructions from Robert Garcia, his trainer, saying, okay, a decent warm-up round. Now you got to pick up the pace a little bit. Very good boxes. And they're very evenly matched. A looping right hand landed by Franco that time, and right back comes Navarrete. Navarrete with three straight punches where he's in. It's a long way to go. It's only the second round. Navarrete really trying to keep the pressure on him. And that's what he said he wanted to do, and he is keeping the pressure on him. He landed three punches. Look at this. Navarrete keeping the pressure on Franco. He eked out a split decision the last time after fighting to a draw the first time. Navarrete clearly, clearly controlling this round. And there seems to be a cut on the bridge of the nose of Franco. Franco not getting off early in this fight at all. Say that, Franco comes back a little bit. Navarrete doesn't feel any of the power of uh, Franco. Remember, these guys are, you know, Nagrete has 18 wins and only seven KOs. Franco has 15 wins and only seven KOs. So these are boxes. Lawrence Cole hasn't had much to do because these guys just sling punches. And this is the way it goes for every round that they fight. They just keep throwing punches. 
jab, jab, jab. Nice punch landed that time by Negrete. And Joshua, the Professor Franco. Franco in the gold and uh, black trunks. Up in his toes. Negrete, this Franco trying to get off a little uh, uh, referee with the experience of uh, Lawrence Cole. Nice stiff jab. Franco seemed to be getting more into it in this round, but as he tries to get into it, Negretti continues to keep pressure on him. He's right in his face the whole time. He hasn't taken a step back in this fight. That's some nice boxing that time by Frank Lodge Trunks. Gold and black, and the duds uh, being worn by Joshua Franco. Franco's got to tune it up a notch now, so says Robert Garcia, his trainer. Comes to the uppercut, and he is tuning it up a little bit now. Starting to throw a lot more punches in this. Franco landed 24 in the last round, and Negretti 13, so he turned it up a little bit in the last round. Although I thought the heavier punches were landed by Negretti, so I gave him that round. But Franco is turning it up a, a, a notch. Started in the last round. Negretti trying to put more pressure on him now. Nice body shot, and Lawrence is going to tell him to keep it up. Yeah, it, it was it was a, 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 a liver shot, and it was borderline, but uh, Cole just really stays right on top of it. He's a really good referee side. But Franco's really aware of everything that's going on in this fight, as I say that. Nagrete just lands a nice right hand. There's a glancing blow across the nose of uh, Franco. Franco really, really stepping it up. He doesn't want to give away this round. He's really keeping the pressure on Franco. Well, Franco comes back with his combination. Does a nice step round. Clips him with the right hand to the left side of the ear. Slight jab. But look at the, the way it seems like uh, Negrete. This is different than the first couple rounds of the fight that were clearly Negrete's rounds. Nice up the cut round. Then an overhand right. And a right hand landed by him. It's very slippery. It's been a problem a couple of times tonight. Look at these guys go at it, man. This is some kind of fight. You wanted a war? Regret they put a lot of pressure on Franco, but by the third round, Franco started to get in it again and has been boxing much better since the third round. So much. There's Franco with a nice combination there. But it's right hand lead lands by Franco. Maybe Franco's taking an edge now. Franco and all Negretti's people thought that he won the fight. Negretti has been the aggressor in a lot of this fight. And he is now again. Slinging 127. So Franco's actually thrown more punches. I wouldn't have guessed that. But that's how close it is. And that's body a shot landed by Franco. Another body shot behind that right elbow. Three nice body shots in a row, and a fourth one landed by Franco. We're in the eighth round of the scheduled 10 round affair here at Grand Prairie, Texas. The crowd's really got to be enjoying it because if you like nonstop boxing action, oh well, my golly, we've got it for you here tonight. This continues on what has really been a hard, grueling fight. This is the 28th round between these two guys, and not a lot between them. And I don't know how much is going to be settled tonight here either. Is Negretti again looking pretty good right here. And as I say that, Franco turns around, and he has a nice string of punches. Is Negretti back? Negretti will have his series. Right now it's Franco. I, I say Ranko tries to push him back. Ranko trying to throw more punches and show some power. Nice looping. Right. Look at this. His Franco right back now. That's his first uh, real good series in, in the third minute of this. Uh, may, you know, settle the close round that otherwise you can't make up your decision. Both of these guys have got to be fatigued with the amount of punches that they've thrown. Here we go, the 10th and final round. 
from the theater in Grand Prairie, Texas. Two Warriors doing battle here in their 30th round against each other. What battles? Franco having a decent round for the first minute. Uppercut by Franco. Franco having his best round. No question he won the first. Red has been able to push Franco back, but Franco, actually his legs seem stronger right now. But it's not going to be about the strong legs. Franco trying to finish as strong as he can in the last 50 seconds of this fight. Franco's won the second minute and a nice uppercut. If he dumps and that changes everything. A nice score sheet. Now, Rende keeps coming forward, but he's still not landing much. He's totally fatigued. But he's still throwing in spite of the fact that he's fatigued. He's just three seconds to go in this fight. Look at Franco trying to take him out. And the late going, if he drops him, I get this fight dead even. Nice round for Franco. Closing seconds of the fight. And Franco's definitely won the 10th round, I can tell you that. There have been very few definitive rounds. Here comes the bell, and the fight is over. That's a Franco round. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 championship rounds of boxing, please put your hands together for our Warriors in the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. Judge Jesse Reyes sees the bout, 96-94, Joshua Franco. <laughs> Judge Javier Martinez sees the bout, 96-94, Oscar Negrete. <laughs> and Judge David Iacobucci sees the bout, 95-95. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been declared a split draw. A it's split decision draw. How about that?